Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create a simple JDeveloper application using the Oracle JDeveloper 11G release number 2. You can use Oracle JDeveloper 12C if you like to but uh, the process would be same. So let's create a simple application uh, from the scratch. Let's new first and from the list we are going to select Fusion Web Application which is the ADF framework and press OK. For application name, we are going to press uh, like keep it simple. Like let's try it as human resource. And for like directory, you can put it in any directory as you wish. And the prefix, you can put some prefix here, or you can keep it as empty. Let's go to next. And the project name, there will be two projects inside this application. One would be the model, which will have the business rules, and the second would be the uh, the view controllers. And that has all kind of like views like HT, uh, like J, uh, JavaScript, CSS, images, and all like page flows, task flows, uh, etc. Anyways, let's create the project model first. Go to next, and for default package name, we will keep it as it is. And for the view controller, we will keep it as it is. Simple right now, nothing complicated. Just let's go to next, and the default package would be view and let's finish and now from the left side you can see we have created two projects one is the model and one is the view controller and if you see this two like this uh, view controller has all these xml files uh, inside the web content content and there's a page flows which is the AD adfc config I'm not going to go details right now on this just I'm going to show you how you create a project from scratch anyways for now I have to create a connection to the database for this example or tutorial we are going to use the HRs so the for the connection name we are going to put a connection name here you can put it as simple if you like and So we're going to put as HR and the username. I'm going to use the HR schema. I already, I just told you guys. But if you want to use something else, you can use it. So for the HR schema, we have the username as HR. The password is the password that you configure when you were configuring the HR schema onto your database. So you might have the same XE database, which is the Express Edition Oracle database, or you might have something else. Or you have created a simple database so I created a database called ORCL so which has the 1521 as a port number and for now I'm going to before I press ok I have to test connection as you can see the connection was successful that's ok to come out and now we have to create some business services let's go to the sub steps and we'll uh, Express the create entity object and associations and all entities will go inside the model project right now so we will uh, select model and press ok we have already configured our database so we are not going to redo it here but if you want to change something you can of course change it and just press ok now you have a page where you are defining your uh, entity objects if you have something like that and there is nothing here don't be panicked because you have a query buttons right here just press it and it will show up all the tables that uh, belongs to HR so right now we are just taking two tables one is the department and the second one is uh, employees and we will rename them as employee entity object and department as department entity object EO and the package that will contain these two like entity object will be inside the model so let's go to next and this is the view object the, the view object is here is actually based on the entity base so you if you have an employee entity object so the view object will have the based on that enti enti uh, entity object so let's uh, bring those two from left to right and we will rename them so department view object we'll put it as vo and 
and employee as employee bo and here a package we will put as view and we'll go to next for this one i'm gonna put it as empty because this we are not creating any view objects based on query but if you want to create a view object which is based on the query you can uh, requery here and put your table from left to right but i'm not going to do that here for this tutorial let's go to next that modules we can rename it as we want as employee app module and that we can put it inside the package view or package application something like that we'll put it as application go to next add to business component diagram if you want to see the diagrams you can of course select this one but for now i'm gonna put it unselected we'll go to next so here is your uh, summary of your uh, application so we have entity objects and we have view objects and the application module here the data diagram is empty because we didn't create any just press finish now if you come to the left side of your application like projects here you can see the model right now have the employee app module because we created inside the application and the model has the entity objects and its associations and here is the employee entity object department entity object and we have a view package which has view objects employee view objects department view objects and we have the links between these two if we don't have any links between the tables like there is no foreign keys or prime uh, like of course we have a prime, primary sorry like if you don't have any like uh, connection between two tables something like no uh, foreign keys then there will be no foreign key link created here you will see only the view objects and these two things here anyways uh, right now if you want to like run this application you can do it and the way you do it is you just select right click on this one and press run Oracle application takes a little bit of time sometimes for depending on your like PC speed but here you can see I have department view objects we have employee department foreign key link one view object three so these are created like this is an automation process it has been created but if we re like create our view object according to like our needs you can create them and you can see the name over here somewhere we will uh, i'll try to see show you guys later on my the tutorial but for now let's show you the employee view object so here you can go and browse the employees you can also create like use this plus button to create new employees like you can put your employee ids and stuff so yeah i'm going to show you one more thing which is how you create a page so let's go to create a page web page so uh just select the jsf facelets and select page it's okay and for now we are going to put a jsf page not jspx if you want jspx it's up to you let's rename it to index jsf and i'm gonna put it as a blank page so let's press ok so that has been created inside the public underscore html maybe here you can't see it inside the public underscore html but if you go to your project folders you will see this index jsf inside public html and let's save this project and run this jsf file oh no there is nothing inside so first before to do that what we have to do is we can like if you come to your data controls you see there are like employees view one department view one and let's create a page which has employees 
to do to, uh, for that we what we have to do is just simply we are going to drag this employee view from data controls to your page and it shows what kind of like things you are gonna make it's an idea form read only form or table something like that you can create table but let's create an ADF table here and we will enable sorting and filtering and select single rows and if you want to just see the employee ID first name last names to make it simple we can just select all of them and we will deselect these fields and just delete them press ok this process can be a little bit uh, like slow because ADF sometimes makes your computer really slow anyways so we have one two three four five six fields on our table and we are going to see that in our web application I hope you have already configured your server even if you haven't configured your server still if you when you install your uh, like J developer that also comes with the server so it will run without any extra effort so now you can see that we have job ID salaries that we have selected all things are here we just brought a table here not a form so we are not changing any data or manipulating any data here just a simple form I mean simple table so you can see this these fields are you can actually select to you know I just selected 2400 so it shows 2400 which uh, like employees have 2400 uh, range of salaries anyways thank you for watching this video and how I hope you found it helpful if you have any comments just leave it below and I will try to answer it as possible thank you very much